Good afternoon, and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube Table Enabled. Today we continue with Shulchan Aruch Yomi Yisim and Reish Chav Gimel 223. Mishriyal the Ishto, what happens, what bracha you make when your wife gives birth? Umeis Morisho, you inherit money. If someone dies and you inherit money, Ubanu Bayez Chadash Vakana Kalem Kadashim. What happens when you buy a new house, or you build a new house, or you buy a new car? You buy a Ralph Lauren <laughs> polo shirt over here. What happens? You make a Sheikh Yano or not? We'll see interesting what the halacha is. Halacha which is written, not really followed today, and I'll explore why I think it's not really followed today. It should be followed. It's, it's from the Gemara. But for some reason, it's not followed today. You know, my, my kids, they're <coughs> my daughter. I have two daughters in Ghana. One is five years old, one is three years old. They're learning about all the halachas of brachos. My, my daughter was five years old, you know, she asked brachos, you know, she's in the middle of a bread meal. I made a bracha on the bread. What bracha should I make now? You know, she's making brachas <laughs> on everything possible. She's asking, what bracha you make? She's not a gil, she's not even a man. <laughs> and she's asking all these questions about brachos. They want to make brachos, brachos are not in so much. But when it comes to buying a new car or buying a new shirt, people don't make the bracha. I wonder why, and I'll tell you what my opinion is. And Ian to lean on. Let's start. Allah Aleph. Yal the Ishto Zachar. Mavarach Hatov Amitiv. If your wife gives gives birth to a male boy, um, you make a Tov Amitiv because it's good for you, because you like a, a boy, and also a woman likes it. Begam Hisri Chalavarach Kain. She also makes a bracha. Your shutvas, your your partners in this in this joy. Hagav im Mesa Ishto Belid Dasa. Let's say your wife dies, unfortunately, when she's giving birth. It's a boy. You make shechian. She's not enjoying it because she's dead. The father died while his wife was pregnant. When she gives birth, she makes shechian. Because it's a joy for her, but not for the husband because he's dead. Some say it's only... If you want to, it's up to you if you want to make a bracha for giving birth or not. I think the minag is to make a shechianu and a tov when you have a child. Shechianu is for a girl. Uh, the reason you all make shechianu for a girl is because some people say it's because it's only good for the man, not good for the wife. But why wouldn't it be good for the wife? Women love all kids. So I would say more appropriate you get shech. You make shechianu, maybe to exempt your wife. She should make shechianu because she loves... Women love any kids they have. Most men only really enjoy having a boy. Um, I think that's the way it is. At least in the from world, it's like that because there's a connection of teaching them Torah and teaching them mitzvot and things like that. And girls are not so much. But I think in the secular world, I don't think they really care between a girl and a boy. And the true Allah really should be that you make a shechianu for a girl because really the truth is the girl is really for the father because the girl helps out the father. She cooks for the father. She takes care of the father. She also helps the mother, but, you know, mothers don't love a girl the way they love a son. If that's true, if that's possible to explain or not, I believe it's true. I believe uh, mothers like their boys more like their girls. Um, and you have a boy, both both parents are happy. And that's the halacha. The halacha is shechianu. If you have a girl, you say shechianu. It's, it's a confusing halacha why that is. Um, and it's the father who makes the shayana. It's only good for the father, but not for the mother. It's hard to understand, but that's my explanation. Base, base of it, let's say your father died. Mavarach dayan ha'emes. Now, it's not just your father. Any of your Zion Krom that died. Mishnah Burr says that a Talmud Chacham dies, a significant Talmud Chacham passes away. You also make Baruch HaTashem al-Kinam al-Kinam dayan with Shem al-Malchus. Hayalo mamun shayarsho. Let's say your father also had money. He has an inheritance that he's passing on to. Me'en lo achim mavarach gankin shayano. So you make Diana Amos that he died, but also, right when he dies, you make the bracha of Shechianu because you inherited a lot of money. I don't know what's considered a lot of money. It depends on how, like the Mishnah Burr said, it depends if you're a rich person or a poor person. If you're a really rich person, even if he, he gives a mass inheritance, I don't think you make a bracha because it's not something which is a, a simcha for you. It has to be something which is, which is a joy for you. You're worth a billion dollars. I don't know. $30 million is not going to help you too much, but if you're you know, worth uh, 20,000 shekel. <laughs> and he gives you a $30 million inheritance. That's pretty significant. If you have brothers, 
So you're inheriting with them. So it's interesting. You make the, the greater bracha tov amitiv. You're joining with them. You know, usually that that becomes that destroys families when you have multiple brothers inheriting and they fight over the inheritance. But true, the true, the Torah expects you to act properly with your brothers and have darach eretz and treat them like human beings and not just destroy your family relationship over money. Um, so therefore, I say that tova meitiv because you get the joy, you experience the joy with another person. Hagash ein mavarek and tova meitiv. I don't think you should shut us both at all unless you're with other people in that joy. Gimel bana bayis chad shakana kelam kadashim. You built a new house, Mr. Burez. You don't have to build a new house. You can be bought a new house, <clears throat> or you bought new kelim, new utensils. You bought a new sofa. You bought some new dinnerware. You bought some new clothes. Afilu ahaya lo kiyotz be elu tchile. Even if you had the same types of clothes. Right, or you bought and you bought the same item again. Every time shechianu, as long as it's a simcha for you, meaning it's something which makes you feel wealthier. Right. I should have had to make this bracha shechianu like a, a, a thousand times in the last year. Like, bought so much stuff on Amazon. <laughs> The Lav Davka, I didn't make the bracha, and I'll talk about why I didn't make the bracha, and I think you should make a bracha. I didn't. The Lav Davka Chadashim, the whole deal is Shanim. Same thing when it comes to old things. It could be secondhand stuff. Im Chadashim Lo Shalal Yavolam Olam. You didn't have a couch ever. You bought a secondhand couch. Make Shachan Olam Ru Chadashim El La Fuke Im Machar and Vachazer Vachanan. The only time you wouldn't make a bracha of Shachan if you bought it. And then you sold and you bought it back because you already had this exact same item. But if you have another one of these items, like if I would buy another Ralph Lauren, white Polish shirt, <laughs> make it Shechiano, even though I didn't make it the first time. Dalit, Bishas Akinian, Yeshal Levarach, Afal Pishadain, Lon Shamish Bahem. When you buy it, you should make the bracha when you buy it because the bracha is on the simcha, the purchase. Now you own it. Makes you feel wealthy. Shayna bracha, Allah, the simcha salaf, Shu Samech Knios, and he's happy that he bought it. Shayil Bashem. When you wear it, when you wear new clothing, apparently you're supposed to make a bracha on Mal Bisharumim. Technically, if you said Mal Bisharumim in the morning when you're wearing it, and you start wearing it in the morning, so the bracha of Mal Bisharumim you say, Bracha Sachachar, exempts that. But if you would wear it in the middle of the day, for example, you would make the bracha of Mal Bisharumim. When you have both brachas to make together, for example, you buy something, it's not ready to wear. I just actually bought a new suit in America, a Tommy Hilfiger suit with a vest. Um, I sent the pants in to be, oh, I forgot to have to pick it up. <laughs> it's ready, the woman called me in the morning. I have to pick it up, so she hemmed the pants for me. So I, when, I, when I wear it, right, if you buy it and it's ready to be worn, so then you make shechian when you buy it. But if it's not ready to be worn, so you make shechian when you wear it. So before Shabbat, so when I wear it, I will make the bracha. First the bracha of Shechianu, and then the bracha, sorry, you first make the bracha Mal Bisharumim, and then you make the bracha of Shechianu. That's what the majority says. First Mal Bisharumim, and then Shechianu. So I'd make the bracha of Shechianu second. I plan on doing this. I'm going to do this. You know, it's been a long time since I made a bracha on something new. It's a re revelation to my eyes, this, this sim, and finally I saw something that for some reason people don't do it. They should be doing it. It's a whole parak in Masechah's brachos, the last parak. Brachos! Last parak talks about all these things. People ignore these halachas. I don't know why. <clears throat> hey, kind of kelim shem shtam shem bam. Who b'nei beiso? Mevarach atol b'ametiv. If you buy something that it's not just good for you, right? A new couch, let's say, or a new set of dinnerware. Im nasnu. So it's good for everybody. You make atol b'ametiv. Nasnu lo matano. Mevarach atol b'ametiv. Someone gives you a present, so then you make atol b'ametiv. If the person sold it to you, it's the only person who buys it. But if the person gives you a present, so it's an honor to give a present to people. You're happy by giving a present. The philanthropists are happy to give their money. She tova lo v'lanosik. Vav al davar she'ano chashuv kol kach yon chalak o manali man pilio. So let's say something which is not so important. I don't think he means a designer shirt. He means some shirt you get from Target. O manali man pilio. So you buy some cheap shoes on pilios. The fake Crocs on pilio. Let's say the rather the the Ramos says perish manali katanim shachov and rova regal. Small shoes shoes that only cover most of your foot. I think that means Crocs. <laughs> you buy Crocs, but not the, the real Crocs. You know, not the Crocs that I bought for sixty dollars. The Crocs that you buy for 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 twenty dollars um, at at Target. In Levarich Aleim, don't make a bracha. You know, Ani v'Sameach Mehen Yivarich. If he's a poor person, he doesn't have these before. It depends on how how much of a simcha. If you're actually happy of getting something, 
most of my clothes are designer clothes. When I get them, I'm happy. I love getting new designer clothes. Even if I have designer clothes by the same brand, I'm still happy to get it. So you make a bracha. Some say that a poor person, even a poor person, doesn't make on a shirt or minolim or shoes. I guess that seems to be the minog. The minog seems to be based on the Mishabur explains that it's only things made out of wool that have chashivas ksas. I think if it's a designer brand that's worth a lot of money, you make the bracha. I think it's just talking about things which are, you know, maybe you buy at Target or Walmart that don't cost too much, off name brands. That's what I think the correct halacha should be. I'm in a glomar, let me shalovish beg in chadash, tivlev it is chadash. When someone wears a new clothes, you give them a bracha. You should wear it. This tivla, tivali, you should wear it out. And this chadash, you should use it, you know. When you buy high quality clothes, usually they last a long time. It's a bracha to say that you should use it for a long time. That. It makes so much more sense to spend good money on good clothes because they last much longer, they look nicer, um, they make you feel proud that you're wearing something of value, a name brand. I'm a very big proponent of buying expensive things that, that are, because they're, they're much usually much better quality. You buy one good pair of shoes, it can last you for two years. You buy, you know, in the same pair, you have to buy three pairs of terrible shoes, it's gonna cost you more money. And you don't have to feel the same value. <clears throat> Some say that you shouldn't say Shechianu on things made out of leather. Animal, animal rights activists would love this Rama over here. Don't, don't, don't take a Shechianu. All right, you want to buy a leather belt, leather shoes, so buy it. But don't make a Shechianu on it because you have to do a little sad for the animals. Even though the Ramah says it's a weak reasoning, this is given by the Mahariu, I don't know what that is. Um, some people rely on this not to make a bracha. I mean, I mean, the same argument you can make when you eat a steak or when you eat chicken. You know, maybe you shouldn't make a bracha shahakal because, you know, you know, you have to kill an animal to do this. Now, the whole point of animals were given, at least the Jewish philosophy, I believe, is they were given for people to benefit from, whether it's food or whether it's clothing um, or your or your leather couch, you know. It's meant for, that's what the point of this world is, meant for, for all human beings. Um, so I don't think there's any, you don't take in the Sarbali Chaim is when you're causing pain to the animal for no purpose. Just just when your kavana is just to cause pain to them. But when it's something that is for your benefit, the Torah encourages you to do that. So I think this is, completely off base, which the Ramah basically agrees with me over here. That's the conclusion of today's share. Stay tuned for Ian Tolina, where I talk about whether these brachas apply really nowadays. Shech Yanu, buying new furniture, buying a new house, buying a new car. The minig is, you don't ever hear of people making Shech Yanu. There's no share by a friend on which car you should make Shech Yanu if you buy a Honda Civic or you buy the Honda Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> is there a difference of making Shechana? I can just see that, right, Fran giving a shear in, in Air Yisrael. Um, what's the difference between bonding, buying the Honda Civic and the Honda Odyssey? Or the Honda Odyssey and the Toyota Sienna? You know, one is the Bracha Shechana, one's not. People are going to spend extra money to buy the one Shechana. <laughs> the real from people. <laughs> We'll talk about this. It's a really important halacha over here. I want to talk about this. I'm going to start making Shekhyano from that one now that I learned this halacha. We'll talk more about this. Ian Talina coming up next.